We lift up our hands. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. Jesus is Lord. Now and forever. Now and forever. Jesus is the Lord. Kindly keep your hands down and look to Jesus. I, Jesus is moving all over the world right now. He is moving. He is walking among us. And he is working among us. And the Lord gives a wonderful promise word. That is from Isaiah 49, verse 16. Behold, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are always in front of me. What does it mean? See, I have inscribed you on the palms of my hands and your walls are continually before me. The Lord loves you. You are under the observance of God Almighty. That's why your names or you are engraved. Your image is engraved on the palms of the hands of God. You are under His observance. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Under His surveillance. And all the walls, the troubles, problems, sickness, weakness that you have... That is always being under the observance of God Almighty. Exodus chapter 3 verse 7. Moses heard the sound from the bush, burning bush. I have observed the miseries of my people. And I have seen the hardship and afflictions they endured through their master our taskmasters I know their sufferings so you are under his observance and your blocks and bondages that God has already seen it Luke chapter 13 verse 16 a woman had been under a bondage of sickness for 18 years she was suffering of this sickness not because of any virus or bacteria or any accident. A demon entered into her and that demon made her hunchback and she was bending forward because of that bondage. Bondage is always coming from devil. So what is the promise word? I have seen your walls. The blocks and bondages. The walls means blocks and bondages. I have seen it. And I am going to remove it right now. Because your hands and legs are so weak, you cannot remove it. But God's hands are very powerful. Isaiah 69, verse 1. My hands are too powerful, too long to help you. And my ears are not too dull to hear you. Not my hands are short to help you. Not too short to help you. My ears are not too dull to help you. Isaiah 59 verse 1 and 2. Praise the Lord. Praise the so Lord. lift up your hands. The Lord helps you now to come out of all your troubles. Galatians chapter 2 verse 20. No longer I, but Christ lives in me. Not only my image is engraved on his palm, but I am always in Christ Jesus. Christ is in me, no longer I, but Christ who is in me is alive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Keep your hands down. I read a story of a soldier. He proposed to a girl in his village. And after the engagement, he went to military. Then for a long time, he didn't come back. One day she got a letter which is written by somebody else. You have to look for another proposal. I am admitted in a hospital. When uh, she found the address of that hospital, she reached there. Then she saw that he lost his both hands. He doesn't have the hands. Then he said, you have to look for another proposal. 
my hands are no more i cannot help you so please find out another person in marriage i am not able to be a good husband for you so please find out someone else then she told him behind him he she extended her both hands and said my two hands are for you my hands are your hands so this is not a hindrance for this relationship and she married the same guy now when our hands are weak or it is not there galatians chapter 2 verse 20 he comes and he says to us my hands for you my legs are for you my body is for you i am with you you are not only engraved on my hands of my palm but you are in me my hands and my legs and my brain is for you no longer i but christ is alive in me hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah hallelujah lifting up our hands all your blocks and bondages are going to be destroyed today by jesus and you are under his observation he cares for you 24 into 7 you are being looked after by him Psalm 91 verse 15 says all the days of your trouble and struggles he is with you amen thank you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah i will be with them in the in their troubles and i will rescue them and honor them hallelujah hallelujah hebrews chapter 2 verse 9 jesus tasted even death for us so that we may have glory and honor thank you jesus thank you jesus hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus, praise you, jesus. and he was perfected by his suffering he was perfected by his suffering hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus and he gives us glory and honor keep on lifting up your hands please offer all your intentions John chapter 15 verse 13 there is no greater love than this to lay down one's life for another Jesus died on the cross look at this crucifix and he showed his love all humanity fell under the slavery of devil because of the sin of Adam and Eve then devil demanded if Jesus dies on the cross i will set my this people who are under my custody and i will release them and they will be under the observance of god almighty god the father said yes i will do i will allow my son to be crucified jesus said matthew chapter 20 verse 28 i have come to this world to offer my life as ransom for your rescue from the hands of the devil because they will demand at my death john 15:13 no greater love than this to lay down one's life for another jesus did it and rescued us from the torture of the devil and from the slavery of the devil how much love he has manifested on the cross extend your hands towards this century offer all your intentions today's promise word i have seen your fever i have seen your heart ailments i have seen your blocks and bondages in your career i have seen your task masters and their persecutions i have seen your difficulties and i'm going to take it as my own and i will give you rescue and also when your hands your legs your eyes are weak you are going to become strong amen amen